Today we're going to be making our very own color wheel acorns. Now, um, this is from Two Art Chambers actually had this amazing idea. So I wanted to make this video for my students here. So you guys get to see how to make your very own blending of the acorns. We're going to read a story first about the little acorn. We're going to talk about a color wheel and then we're going to get started on our project. So here, let me get past this. We're going to work on our color wheel um, coloring sheet in order to practice what our primary colors are and what primary colors make our secondary colors. And then we're going to practice how we draw an acorn. Honestly, you could draw anything that's fall related to you, but here I thought the acorn was the best to start off with before we do our contour lines. And finally, as we get for, further into it, what I'm going to be looking at is how are we going to blend our colors using water and a paintbrush in order to make our secondary color. So let's get our materials and let's get started. Okay, so on our projects today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on our acorns. So using, you know, a pencil to start with, let's figure out where do you want your acorns to be? and then you're gonna be using a black marker. So our acorns, we want to make three of them on our paper and spread them out because we're talking about our color wheel and we wanna talk about our primary colors, our secondary colors, and what they mix and create. So the first thing that I want you to do is we need to come up with just the top of our acorn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a tiny little stem so here's my first one. And then I'm gonna to plan to have a third one up here. I might start with a little bit of a U and draw kind of a stem. They each could be different. And then my next one, I'm gonna place it over on this side. Same thing, kind of like a U shape here and any which way that you would like to do. Good. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create our oval shape. So what I want you to do is behind our stem, like you can see right here, I'm going to bring it out and around and come back. Just like that. And we're going to do that for each of our acorns. Good, so we got the start. The next thing is I would like us to kind of thicken one little side of our acorn. So I'm gonna thicken this line here, not all the way around, just enough. And maybe I'm gonna do one in the front here, just to give it a little bit of character, you know? Just like that. And if you don't like, if something got too thick, you can always go back and thicken the rest of it and extend it a little bit more. It really doesn't matter. All right, so now what I want us to do is near the bottom here, we're going to do, I'm gonna make mine this big. So I'm gonna put a dot for myself. And what I'm going to do is from my acorn, I'm gonna kind of come out and come in like this. I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to go out and slide it in and come in. So up here I want this acorn to be about this tall or long. And for me, if it's easier to draw a little V down here, you can do that too. And I'm going to start under here and I go out and around and in. So take your time making your acorns. I'm gonna have my other one down here. Again, if you wanna do a V or a dot, you can. And I always just kind of take it out and I slowly bring it in. 
If yours is just straight, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with any acorn that you create. All right, so now the next thing that we're going to do is let's kind of decorate these stems. I'm gonna draw some stripes. And I want you to fill in every other. Good. Now on this one, I'm gonna draw a zigzag. And I'm also going to do another zigzag, if you can fit it, on the other side of it. And if you can't, that's okay too. And I'm going to color in only on the sides. So it gives it like a kind of um, a cool lightning bolt look to it. And now for my last one, I'm just going to draw some like half circles. And I'm just going to fill those in. Kind of like these polka dots. Good. Now comes the fun part. So we're going to create what's called contour lines in the background. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's going to keep growing off of each other. What I'm going to have us do is this. You're going to trace like a bubble trace around your acorn and you're going to do it again see how that's looking so i am going to start on this one next So see how this one touched it? That's okay. So what I'm going to do now is I don't want the next ones to touch. So instead, I'm going to just follow around it. See how that all connected? So it connects that way. I'm also going to start with this one now. And now that these are here, I know it has to go all the way around. So I'm going to start down here and I'm going to keep growing it. And it's just going to go all the way around. And you're going to keep going and starting over and over again with new lines until your whole paper is filled.
Once you've finished this part, the next part is actually the fun other part, is we're gonna be getting our markers. So let's start with our first color mixing, is we need our orange. So we need an orange, we need a yellow, and we need a red. So here are my three colors. What I want you to do is we're gonna color the top lid orange. So why don't you do that? Then you're going to use your red. And what I want you to do is we're going to kind of have the red come here out further. So as I colored it in, I want a nice salad and I want you to kind of go back and forth like this on it here because we're going to show some blending. And that's what we're going to practice is blending. So you're going to take your yellow. Okay. And you can color. I always like to outline first. And I'm going to blend outwards this way. And then I'm going to take my orange. And I'm going to mix my orange just like this. Right over it. Because red and yellow actually makes orange. So there's my first one. What's really cool is we can also, if you have water, and I'll show us that we'll have my water um, at the table too, is you could actually blend and mix your paints. So that's what we're going to do on the next two. And we could go back over this too. But if you don't have water, um, another simple way is just to do it this way. All right, so the next colors we need is we need to take out our blue right and our yellow and that makes the color green so what you're going to do on the top of this acorn is color the top of it green for me when i want to color i usually outline first around the area this helps keep me inside the lines All right, so on one side, we're gonna do our blue. Okay. And I kind of go like this. The other side, we're gonna do our yellow. Make sure you leave some white. For our last one, we need our red and blue, and that makes the color purple. So on the top of this cap, I'm gonna draw, color it purple. Remember, for bigger areas, instead of doing the tiny, put this on its side, and you're able to actually color it in a lot better. And faster. All right, so I'm gonna start on this side with my red. I can go on its side, kind of color it like this, outline the areas that I want. And then I'll take my blue. Leave some white.
Okay. Now, before we do the next part of the water, make sure that your name is on the back. So I always make sure my name is on the back and I have my teacher code, okay? All right, and then I will pass out our water. All right, so for the next part, at your tables, you're gonna have your cup and water, just a little bit, because really we don't need a lot. And all you're going to do is you're going to mix your colors across your paper, like this. You're just gonna blend it, blend those colors, and you'll make the, ter the secondary color green. Isn't that cool? All right, and then this one, I'm going to mix my red and the blue, and you're gonna see a purple be created. It takes a little bit of time for the colors to wake up too sometimes, but you'll see that. And lastly, you can make the orange, a better orange. Pretty cool, right? So as you can see, like the purple shows up really well. And if I put a little bit more yellow, now this is wet, so I don't recommend it when it's wet, but when it's dry, if you need to add a little bit more yellow on it, you can, and then that way it'll turn into a better green, as you can see right here, okay? Once you're done, you're going to take a picture for Artsonia.